Good morning, everyone. My name is Moki Hino. I am the rector here at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Wailuku, Maui, and this is our Sunday 7 a.m. virtual Liturgy of the Word. Today is Sunday, April 2nd, 2023, which means it is Palm Sunday. Uh, Please remember that this week is Holy Week and we have a number of worship offerings for you. The first being our Monday Thursday Eucharist at 7 p.m. on April 6th, Thursday, April 6th, here in the sanctuary where we will have foot washing and the stripping of the altar. Then on Friday, April 7th at 7 p.m., here in the church sanctuary, we will have our Good Friday liturgy with the solemn colics and the veneration of the cross. On Saturday, April 8th at 5 p.m., we will hold our regular outdoor Eucharist in the courtyard. Then at 7 p.m., we will have the great vigil of Easter here in the sanctuary with the lighting of the fire and the singing of the exalted and the uh, wonderful readings. And we will be joined by St. John's Kula that day. The Monday Thursday liturgy, the Good Friday liturgy, and the Easter vigil, one, two, three, will also be available via Facebook Live. So you can watch it live at that time or you can go to it later on uh, when at your leisure to watch. Then on Sunday morning at 6 a.m., we will have an Easter sunrise service right out here uh, outside the front door of the church and we'll see the sun coming up over Haleakala. Then at 7 a.m. we will have our virtual Liturgy of the Word as always and at 9 a.m. we will have our Easter Sunday Eucharist with Holy Baptism. As of today, we have three children who are going to be baptized. Uh, after church, we will have a potluck and an egg hunt and there will be no Sunday school that morning because we want the children here in church to take part in the baptism and with that we will begin this morning's service with the ringing of the bell. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim. His mercy endures forever. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me. And have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, he has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever.
Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And this is a reading from Matthew. When Jesus and his disciples had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village ahead of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them and he will send them immediately. And this took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them and sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds went ahead of him, and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph and was proclaimed as King of Kings by those who spread their garments and branches of palm along his way. Let these branches be for us signs of his victory, and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our king and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who lives and reigns in glory with you and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen.
Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now we will have the reading of the lessons. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Master God has given me a well-taught tongue, so I know how to encourage tired people. He wakes me up in the morning, wakes me up, opens my ears to listen as one ready to take orders. The Master God opened my ears, and I didn't go back to sleep, didn't pull the covers back over my head. I followed orders, stood there and took it while they beat me, held steady while they pulled out my beard, didn't dodge their insults, faced them as they spit in my face. The Master, God, stays right there and helps me, so I'm not disgraced. Therefore, I set my face like flint, confident that I'll never regret this. My champion is right here. Let's take our stand together. Who dares bring suit against me? Let him try. Look, the Master, God, is right here. Who would dare call me guilty? Look, my accusers are a closed bin of threadbare socks and shirts the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 31. Be kind to me, God. I'm in deep, deep trouble again. I've cried my eyes out. I feel hollow inside. My life leaks away, groan by groan. My years fade out in size. My troubles have worn me out, turned my bones to powder. To my enemies, I'm a monster, I'm ridiculed by the neighbors. My friends are horrified. They cross the street to avoid me. They want to blot me from memory, forget me like a corpse in a grave, discard me like a broken dish in the trash. The street talk gossip has me criminally insane. Behind locked doors, they plot how to ruin me for good. Desperate, I throw myself on you. You are my God. Hour by hour, I place my hand, days in your hand, safe from the hands doubt to get me. Warm me, your servant, with a smile. Save me because you love me. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Philippi. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love, and be found without fault at the day of your coming, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Bob, our own bishop, for all bishops and other ministers, especially Moki, our priest, and for all the holy people of God, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and that all may be one as you and the Father are one, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who do not yet believe and for those who have lost their faith, that they may receive the light of the gospel, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in positions of public trust, especially Joseph, our president, Josh, our governor, Gil, our senator, and Richard, our mayor, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who live and work in this community, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For a blessing up upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty, famine, and disaster, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, pri prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this congregation, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our enemies and those who wish harm on us, and for all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For ourselves, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the grace of the Holy Spirit to mend our lives, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have commended themselves to our prayers, for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of your church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place, where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, King Kamehameha IV, and Queen Emma, Queen Liliuokalani, Damien, and Marianne of Molokai, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord our God. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned against you in thought, thought word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, you say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, don't you hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed Jesus over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, 
which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what should I do with Jesus who is called the Messiah? And all of them said, let him be crucified. Then Pilate asked, why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, his blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took a, the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene called Simon. They compelled this man to carry Jesus' cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he tasted it, he could not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, this is Jesus the king of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you're the son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, he saved others, he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now and we'll believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he wants to, for he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, darkness overcame the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Elahi, Elahi, Leba Sabachthani, that is my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let's see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, truly, this man was God's son. <laughs>